Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be featuring this tall jack-o'-lantern from ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Remember that I have a coupon code, it is PATTY10, and that'll get you 10% off your purchase. So these are the dies that we're featuring today. We've got the tall jack-o'-lantern. This is from um, Erica's newest release. We've got the bag maker. I've got this double loop scalloped bow. I rarely use this and I thought it would be just a really fun different kind of thing and especially for you guys that have already picked it up it just gives you a little um, idea of how to use it um, I really like to inspire you guys to use the dies that you have in your stash and I like to go back and use dies that we've already featured um, just to give you ideas on how to use the dies that are already in your stash so I'm also using these uh, heart mini or mini heart alpha bet dies they have um, the alphas and numbers and I'm using the bow banner die. So I'll have them all linked in the description of this video, um, but today it's really all about this tall jack-o'-lantern. These dies are just accessories. Um, so this tall jack-o'-lantern comes with three, four, five pieces. So you get two faces. You've got this face right here. If you notice, the eyes don't have any eyelashes. And when you use the face die, all it cuts down out are the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So you'll see that this edge right here doesn't have a blade on it. So if you can tell, um, just the, the face does. And so that's what's gonna cut out from the face dies, okay? So if you're using this die, you have the little stem piece, okay? And then you have the base pieces. These are the base pieces. So this is the base piece with the stem. Then you've got this layering piece and you've got the face, okay? So the face, if you wanna cut out those eyes, um, the nose and the mouth, you would need to pair these together in order to cut out that square, okay? So that's just a little tip for you. If you're gonna be cutting out the face, um, maybe use some washi tape, put this together and cut out all your layers with these taped together so that everything's lined up nice and neatly. If you do it separately, um, it might not line up very well so the best especially if you're making a shaker and you want your foam to be the same or aligned exactly the way your paper is um, yeah make sure that you use some washi put it together and run it through your die cutting machine with your paper and your um, foam okay so that's just a little tip for you just to make sure that it's all nice and aligned okay so this is what we're putting together today this is, these pieces right here are from the tall jack-o'-lantern, okay? And I've seen some design team members make cards and goodie bags, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're just gonna make a little treat bag. Um, I used some sequin mix for the eyes and the nose, and I kinda tried to outline it with some gold thread. Um, I just used a scratch piece of cardstock on the back, um, and then I plan to adhere this to my base piece once I've assembled um, everything. Actually, maybe we should adhere it now. Hmm, I don't know. Because once we assemble it, like it's gonna be hard to put it down. Okay, yes. And then these three pieces right here, these are from the, um, what was the name of that die? It's the bag die. It is called the bag maker die. So these three pieces right here are from the bag maker die, okay? And then we've got our double loop scalloped bow. Look at how gorgeous she is. See how she has that little jagged bow bottom, the bow tails. Um, it just reminded me of the witch bow. So I thought it would be fun to bring her out and play with her. And then I have this little banner right here, um, the bow banner. I had her out because I used her on a previous project and I decided just to add some letters to her and we'll see how we'll add that in. And then here, just some flowers and, and uh, Scarecrow some ephemera from the um, collection I'm using. I'm using the Frank Garcia, the newest one. I don't remember the name. Um, okay, so let's get right to it. I did my stitching ahead of time and we're just gonna put this together, okay? Super easy, right? I mean, we're just gonna use some glue and adhere all our pieces. And I decided to go ahead and put the face on there before assembling the bag just so we can apply pressure as needed right because once you assemble your bag it's not going to be easy to apply pressure like this okay 
So I plan on adding some chain to her and some other little embellishments, but I wanted to do a quick little video of this um, and then I'll embellish it slowly over the weekend and share some pictures on Instagram. I just really want to get back on schedule of putting out videos daily so I thought today would be a great day to just show a little assembly tutorial and um, okay so this is the base and then you know I can go back and embellish her as needed later okay so this is the little base piece it's got the tab right here I'm gonna add my piece to her my front piece to her Okay. You just want to make sure that she's aligned as best as you can. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Okay. And then we're going to align the other piece. This is going to be the back piece. I like to line it up against my table. I feel like that helps so much. Um, I don't know, it just makes me feel like it really gets lined up nicely. Okay, so there you go. There's that side. This is what we have. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just took it off. I put too much glue on. Um, I love using liquid glue because it allows for wiggle room, but then sometimes I'm impatient and I wanna start moving things and it hasn't dried enough yet, so you can't. <laughs> Okay, so here, see how my uh, pumpkins are in a different direction? I didn't pay attention to that. So if you want your pumpkins or your design paper to be in the same direction as your other papers, make sure that you are aligning them properly. So these also have tabs. I'm gonna fold up on those bag maker tabs. This bag maker die is so awesome because you can literally turn anything into a little bag, right? Any um, shape. So I'm just folding up on those lines and I'm gonna add my little piece to her. I love to get the glue into those corners so that there's no lifting. And we'll just apply some pressure to her. Okay. So that's what we have so far. This is so, so easy, you guys, and it literally takes minutes to put together. I'm just folding up on those score marks because once you adhere it, you know, you really can't fold those score marks. Um, I turn this around. So that's what we have so far, okay? And then all we have to do is adhere these little tabs at the side. And we'll have our bag. Look at that. I just wanna give you a quick little glance of what she's gonna look like. Look how cute! Oh my goodness, so adorable. Okay, let's adhere her in fast mode. So this is what we have so far. We literally just um, adhered our bag maker sides to our bag, to our little tall jack-o'-lantern. Isn't it the perfect size for that? Let me apply some pressure to my tabs. I feel like the front part is lifting. Um, so that's what we have so far. I'm gonna embellish her just a little bit, just so that, um, just to give you an idea, but I do want to add some like chain and dangles to her to make her really, really cute. I think that'll be fun. Look at that crow, isn't he so fun? 
He is an ephemera piece from the collection. Um, and I have one of the little spiders from the collection on here. She's pink. I also added a little spider and a flower from the same collection. I think I want to add her right here to the side. I was thinking of adding some chain, but then I also want to add the banner. So I don't know, maybe I'll do the banner at the back and the chain here. But for now, we'll just add this bow. Right here, right on the corner. Isn't she so cute? And what do you guys think? Do you think we should add the, this banner to the back of her? Kind of like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think we should add this banner back here or if we should just leave it off altogether. I don't know. It's so cute. We can use it on something else though. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Um, so this is the tall jack-o'-lantern. I hope that this kind of helped you um, get an idea of how to put this together and what you can use it on. Um, again, just a cute little treat bag. Wouldn't these be so sweet to make for like your kid's classroom, a little Halloween treat, maybe just add some popcorn inside or some pretzels and some cheese dip, some, some sort of little snack in here I think would be so, so sweet or like an office, um, an office gift, like a gift for coworkers super cute and um but yeah i want to add some chain going from right here like a, up to here and some little dangles i think that would be so cute so that is my little tutorial for today you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it she's so super cute um thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you soon bye for now